May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be multiplied unto us all. Now trying to follow what is happening and how God is moving, I, I have come to conclude that indeed I agree with what our brother, the pastor said that God has already started ahead of us. Yes. You see, the, the last time Papa came to our area program to preach, the aura the man of God carries is something I deeply respect. And I know most of you will agree with me that when our father moves and aura follows, there is some kind of godly ambience. Godly ambience. And it is said that a group is a reflection of the leadership. If you want to check how a group behaves, look at their leader. Hallelujah. Now this morning, shortly, I want to speak to the topic, unleashed with the Spirit's fire. Can you look at somebody and say that you have been unleashed with the Spirit's fire. Hallelujah. Can we put our hands together for Jesus? We'll read from 1 Thessalonians 5.19. And I like it from the International Standard Version. 1 Thessalonians 5.19. Do not quench the Spirit. This is but when you read the International Standard Version, it said, do not quench the Spirit's fire. Oh, hallelujah. Do not quench the Spirit's fire. Can you tell the one sitting by you that do not quench the Spirit's fire. We'll take a second reading from Leviticus chapter 6 verse 12. Leviticus 6 12. Leviticus 6, 12. The fire on the altar must be kept burning. It must not go out. Every morning, the priest is to add firewood and arrange the burnt offerings on the fire and burn the fats of the fellowship offering. My emphasis is on the A part. The fire on the altar must be kept burning. It must not go out. Oh, praise the Lord. Now, please listen to me. By the special grace of God, I have come to conclude that in a Christian walk, there are majors and there are minors. We have the majors and we have the minors. Like those of us who go to the uni, you select a program and you have your majors, some six credit hours, and you have your minors. Now, it becomes catastrophic when we concentrate on the minors. That is to say, we minor on the majors and we major on the minors. Are you with me? Now, one of such aspects of the majors is an intense communion with the Holy Spirit, which is evident through the reading of the word fasting and prayer. These are major aspects of our Christian faith. And for us to shine, for us to blossom, for us to take over and possess nations, we will have to hold these ones. Are you with me? Now, when we read through the Bible, we know that one of the evidences that the child of God needs to be able to take dominion of your place is to carry the fire of the Holy Ghost. Oh, praise God. Oh, hallelujah. And as I glance through the scripture because of time, I have come to realize that any child of God that carries the fire Three or four things happen to you. And I'm going to walk you through. First one, say number one. Fire is a precursor for effective witnessing. The fire of the Holy Ghost is a precursor for effective witnessing. When you find someone who is witnessing so well and effectively, it is because that person is carrying fire. Check their fire level. There is something in the inner part of them that is burning. Something that is boiling. For which reason they cannot sit. Unless people come to Christ. And I pray that this morning, PIWC Medina, as you go, may you go with that fire. May the fire of God burn in you. Somebody say fire. And so because of those fire, they can't sit down. Wherever they go, they want people to know that there is a God inside. 
There is something that I have believed and it is in the inside of me. I want the world to know and that is the fire of the Holy Ghost. I pray that as you go, may you become a dispenser of fire. Somebody say fire. Growing up, we were told stories of how our fathers took stones and swallowed. See a gentleman nom oma mene boba and kosise obe mene boba they cannot die. To which they have swallowed some strange stones and until they vomit it, they cannot die. So sometimes it is believed that they grow up to 120, 130, 105 and they are still living. And it is called They have taken something and they have swallowed. Now the same translation is to use to translate the word believe. When we come to Christ, we don't just believe in absentia. We believe in reality. The Jesus we took, we swallowed. And so like an old man who sat in here and believed that he had a stone that he could not die. We also have a living stone. Uh, you didn't hear me. I said we also have a living stone. We have a cornerstone. We have the eternal stone. And it's in us. We are powerful. Oh, hallelujah. Give somebody high five and say, do you have a living stone? So when they say they have swallowed some stone from Tigari, you have swallowed a stone from the living God. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. And the last time I checked, the stone is not eternal, but your stone from yesterday, from today, it shall be there. I pray, I pray that you will know that you are powerful. Can you lift your hand, hit your chest and say, I am powerful. So I submit in this inaugural conference that nobody can carry the fire of God and will not do evangelism. No, PRWC Madina, as you go, in the first one, two, three years, the auditorium must be full. You did it. I said the auditorium must be full. Men must literally run to your church because there is a fire that is burning. I pray, I pray, I pray that let there be a stirring in your fire. If you believe, say fire. I remember when I received my appointment letter to work. I worked used to work at East Legon branch of UBA. I was a relationship manager there. When they brought me there, the first time I entered the branch, Lagos Avenue, when I looked at the people, these are beautiful themselves. Fine, fine girls, fine, fine boys. But after our first meeting, I knew that these people, they are only, they only profess the faith. No, I must translate something within to affect them. You see, when Bible says that we are oaks of righteousness, do you understand? You see, the oak tree, when you plant maize and you plant oak here, Maize in five, six days, no, I don't know shakara, no appear. Then the oak tree is still there. Sometimes we have the tendency to insult the oak tree. Look at you, wasting time. Three months, you are not coming. Four months, you are not coming. Look at your colleague maize. It is already tasseling. Look at it, has even given fruit. I am even chewing some of the fruit. But what the oak tree does is that it grows downward first. It looks for water bed. And when it gets to a certain, said, no, this will not be enough. It bypasses. It goes down and the guys are going up and it will be going down. It will be going down. When it gets a water table, then it settles. Then it said, I am ready to go. Somebody said, come on. Then it begins to shoot. Now what the main tree took three months to do, the oak tree will take one week. Now listen to the magic. Bible says that you are an oak tree. We are called oaks of righteousness. Why? I am going to tell you. During dry season, the maize will die. Why? Their roots are shallow. All the other trees will be struggling. And it is said that during dry season, the oak tree dispenses 20 gallons of water a day. So if the oak tree is planted here and you are fortunate to be found within a certain red eye, it releases water to water its environment. And that is how I feel in my spirit that P-I-W-C Madina, you shall become. Your planting shall be the planting of the Lord. And your habitation shall be the habitation of the Lord. Somebody, if you believe, say, I believe. So fire is a precursor for effective witnessing. What are you saying? Jesus discipled the disciples three and a half years, but he still told them, wait, my uncle. Sometimes we think that after we have been given all the syllables and we have been walked through all the tenets and covered, no, it's not enough. Jesus said, wait. I am saying wait. Because he knew that they were not ready until something came from on high. 
And so Jesus said, told them, wait, go and wait and pray. Bible says that when the day came, nobody told them that the day has come. Peter went out and when he spoke, over 3,000 people came. I pray that God will inject a certain fire, a certain fire into your spirit. If you believe, say, I believe. Say, Lord Jesus, this morning, I am ready for fresh fire. So that is it. Malukatata. Oh, two years ago, we had one evangelism leader in my PRWC. Edwin Enko, Mama, just say, every day he will give you lectures. He comes to report reading, and all he knows how to do is to blame and blame and blame and blame. I was worried. I told my wife, we started praying. Then I spotted one cool guy in his corner somewhere. I gave the word. Even for the first time this half year, we had three people being baptized from him. Because the guy comes with fire. He sleeps evangelism. He eats evangelism. He thinks evangelism. And I pray as you go, may your first step become that of evangelism. Mayakatosata. Somebody say fire. Say fire. And so that is the first thing that the fire does. The second thing that we see from scripture that the spirit fire, the Holy Ghost fire does is that. Now this one you will love it. Fire activate seasons fire activate your season fire activate seasons oh praise the Lord hallelujah so the disciples got it they walk with so form of meekness and they are so afraid but Bible says that when the Holy Spirit came and they came out, everybody knew that something new had come to town. Then they asked, what is happening? But look at the response of Peter. He said, men, we are not drunk. This is what was promised by the prophet Joel. How did Peter know? Anybody that is full of the fire of the Holy Ghost, when your season comes, you pop up. I pray that may God lift you up. May your season open in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. He said, this is what was said. The guy has been praying, but the moment the fire of the Holy Ghost came, he knew that the time has come. PRWC, Madina, I came to tell you that from the realms of the Spirit, as has been ordained, your season is now. This is the time to take a crown for Christ. This is the time to shine. Let the whole of Madina know that a new church is in town. If you believe, say, I believe. Hallelujah. Fire activates seasons. Now listen to me. Even Jesus was treated as a carpenter's son. Ah, so this guy, you will know you. I've been coming to buy nails at my shop for your father. That is why he was seen. But now watch this. In Matthew chapter 3, verse 17, when he was being baptized, something happened. The Bible says that the heavens opened and a voice, a dove descended. And I'm sure all the people were looking at it. And a voice spoke that this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. Look, look, not all anointed men of God will be listened to. There is an anointing called the hear, hear him anointing. When God give it all to you, even when you are saying rubbish, people will listen. He says, listen to him. It is a special grace God has placed. And I pray that after this conference, may your voice become weightier. Yeah. Now, after that, listen. <laughs> Matthew chapter 4, verse 1. He was led into the wilderness. This is the carpenter. The guy that people did not respect. The guy they questioned his identity. They questioned the thing that he was doing. Matthew 4, 1. He went into the wilderness. And over there, he fasted. He prayed. Now listen, Luke chapter 4 verse 4. Bible says that now when he was coming, he returned in the power of the Spirit. And Bible says that the news about him began to spread. How did they know? Jesus had entered into another season. And Luke 4 verse 18. He entered the temple. And after he has read all the manifesto, he said that this day, the scripture has been fulfilled. I pray whatever has been said over your life, life, over your marriage, over your business, over your children. I speak as an oracle of God and I declare that may you not miss your seasons. I said may you not miss your seasons. Ah, I remember when I was going for an interview, we were 72. 
UBA, we did our first aptitude test. We came to 31. We did our second interview. They selected, we came to 18. Third interview, they came, we came to 12. Then we did our fourth interview. We came to five. And they said, we are going to see the MD. We didn't know how the MD was going to, which, how many people she was going to select. So we sat in the parlor, waiting for the MD to come. Then this man called Charles Apia. Charles used to be at Firestone Worship Center. It's not great. Charles just entered. And he said, Pastor Elder Pascal, mercy. Previously, when I preached, I tell people to do mercy. Not, I didn't even know him. I said, you came to my church yesterday. And it was a pastor, really, which church? He said, Firestone. He said, wow. He said, good to see you. I didn't know the man was the third in command. So he entered the MD's office. And when he was leaving, he greeted me and said, nice working with you. Yay. Yeah. Oh, you didn't hear me. Yeah, may the Lord surprise you. Anybody that is looking for a job, may God give you an overturn. May the Lord give you overtaking. May the Lord give you speed. I hear in my ears that God is about surprising some people. If you believe that it is you, lift up your right hand and say, I believe. Give somebody high five and say, God will surprise you. Seasons. Yay. Yeah. May you not miss your season. Ah, I said, may you not miss your season. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, ah, ah. Look, a time will come after this conference. Some members of PRWC district will stand and they'll start laughing. Ha, ha, ha. Then area head will ask, what is happening? He said, Papa, don't worry. I see glory coming. I see something coming. I see grace coming. May it be your person. If you believe, say, I believe. Makusata. Hey. 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 When I wake up in the morning and you come to meet me at my hall and I'm praying, I don't pray mediocre prayer. Sins must come to my light. Kings must come to the bright. Look. I tell people, the kind of pastor I want to be, you have not seen. Eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard. Neither has it entered into the heart of men. Somebody, greatness is about coming your way. Your season is about opening. Say, I believe. Respectfully, let me submit that. Yes, there is a teaching that is going on. That if you ask for something thrice, Twice, you don't, you have, you have, you have, you don't have faith. And so some people pray about one thing, and that is all. But when I check through the scriptures, Bible says that there is this blind man whom, when we get to heaven, there's a first person I'm going to look for. I want to know how many demons, where do they come from, what is their social orientation, what is their background, because Bible says Jesus prayed for him, and he said, "Do you see?" He said, "I see, but I see men." Listen. This prayer is not by Pascal. Neither is it about Kofi. Or by Grace or Stella. This is about Jesus himself. Now what it is how to swap Bumpaya man. Who see me? And you see the mere fact that Jesus prayed for the man the second time. Meant that what the man said was true. I would say that Jesus placed his hands on him and prayed for him the second time. Then he asked, he said, I see clear. Now the mystery is that me, if Jesus did it the second time, me, I will do it a thousand times. Look, if I register the business and it doesn't work, I'll register again. If I go to the embassy and I am bounced, I'll go back again. If I give 10,000 and it doesn't work, I'll give 200,000 until I get it right. Because he who is in me is greater, mightier, bigger than he who that is outside the world. I came to tell you that your season is coming. Your season is about opening. It is about to open. Doors shall open. If you believe, say, I believe. Seasons. There are some seasons when you miss them, you will never get them. But you, you will never miss your season. Doors will open for you. Somebody provoked us at PI. Kofi knows. Well, did they have mission house? Did they have a car? 
our church building was like the size of the platform. So for three years, I have done one joint service. I can't do double service, I joint services. People will not come. And within three years, the church had gone by 302. We are doing well. Somebody's whose house we were renting. Papa, okay, can I drink today, Papa? Wow. Wow. Some of these things, they are deliberate orchestrations of God to provoke the inner fire within him. So we went back to God. We went back to God. He said, brother, we've known ourselves for a very long time. We came to pick the tithe by the special grace of God at 40,000. Mama Philos, one of the daughters is my place, so she can confirm. 40,000. Then the thing started climbing. By the end of the year, we're in the regions of 120,000. But that 120,000 could not do the thing God wanted to do. Papa, within two months, some wind, some wind that blows wealth broke it. And at some point, we we're doing net tithe of 500,000 a month. 500. We did it 500, 500, 600. Net, I'm talking about net. 600, 540, 840, 560, 580. Continuous. And so every month, our LDF and DDF was within the regions of 140,000 to 160,000. Guess what? Within six months, we built a fully furnished mission house. About the day we dedicated the mission house, boom, the tide dropped from 500 and came back to 190. It is called a wind. And if you miss it, you have missed the season. There are some of you, God is do some crazy giving. Don't joke with it. It is a wind. It is blowing. Sometimes it will cease. It will just hold. And you will wish that, no, this is what we have problems with. And so the fire of God is that which activates you. When you see people doing crazy things, the church you are going into it was built by one man. You think it's mad? yourself for that season and I pray that after this conference may that season be open for you yeah. then we are done with the mission house we want to build a church building when we look at the drawing it's one million dollar project and that's about those times and last year it was about 12 million and we had done our first offering 900,000 that's two, two years ago and last year we prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed and my son eight year old came back from school in the morning, he saw me praying. When he came back, I was still praying. So I went to the mother. What is wrong with daddy? These days, he's been praying too much. That the mother would, we are going to give an offering. And this offering, it's only God that can bring the kind of money we need. Then the young boy told the mother that I also want to give. The mother asked, how much do you have said they should go and bring the susu box? When they opened the susu box, they counted the coins. He had 126 CDs, right? Of course, some, uh, then we put it in a brown envelope. It rained on Friday. It rained on Saturday. But on Sunday, when we got to the church, first service, there were less than 70. I was praying and walking around. Oh, my God. So at some point, I decided that I'll go and call off the offering. So as I was coming back from the entrance, then the Holy Spirit ministered to me, I am enough. So when the offering started, I came with my wife. We had 34,000 Ghana cities in the EDs. We said, this is ours. We are bringing everything. Then my son brought his brown envelope full of coins. And that turned the whole thing around. When people saw Macario, eight-year-old boy, bringing all his coins, 126 cities. Apart by the close of service, first service, we have done 1.4 million Ghana cities. Sometimes people, my wife is here. Those of you who have passed up here, mama, you've been there. When you see, I, we couldn't have built it in one year. Go and look. 2,500 seat auditorium. We are almost 80% done. We are roofing it in November. Second service came, and now the man of God, my confidence had been restored. Papa, I took the mic and I told them, first service did at this amount. Second service, I charge you. And they were profound. When we finished everything, we raised 3.2 million Ghana cities. One idea, father heard it said, which church? Is it that small church? Don't worry. It's not about the size of the church. It's about the size of the content of the vision that you carry. And PRWC Madina, as you go, may you do bigger things. May you be a scare for many. May you be a scare even for the area. Say, so how is this possible? Then we will point to the doing of the Lord. May your season arise. 
the last thing fire does is that, and so number one, the fire of the Holy Spirit is a precursor for evangelism. Number two, the fire of the Holy Spirit activates seasons. And so sometimes, even as elders, pastors, sometimes we're, ah, no, we're about the bay. It's not about the bay. It is about the season door that has opened. Go back to God. Catch some fire. Tuja, kodija, rija, rija. Ay, 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 ay. As you go at the workplace, you came five years ago, but I see you toppling over the 12 years. Some promotion is coming for you. You'll be surprised. Some of you, you get back to the office and you'll get appointment letter. In the name of Jesus, may that be your portion. The last thing I want to submit that we'll pray is that fire of the Holy Spirit promotes shine out of your life. Come and do a miracle. Miracle today. Come and do.
Look, the day we lose it, we become ordinary. It is one distinguished church of Pentecost from many other. It is one set you apart. Look, I remember Papa Daddy when I was at the bank. I mean, I mean, some dummy boy, and I'll be picked and brought here. And when I enter the bank, they have something they call leads. You must write the people you're expecting huge money from. So this branch manager of mine comes in. I don't know whether he didn't expect to see people like me. Me and Miko, and when you look at my suit, you can see Pentecost elder who has come. My tie is here. Just say I had come. Then he gave me sheet to write leads. And I wrote, and I give you 10,000. When I took it to him, he said, young man, you must change your vision. Here, we don't deal in thousands. Then I, I started asking myself, how will I survive? Who do I know? And since then, the man, he looked down upon me. He spoke to me anyhow. I was worried. My wife is here. I was worried. Because people are bringing in 1 million. People are bringing 300,000. Who do I even know? Who do I talk to? So I started a morning devotion at the bank. We do it, I think, from 6.45 to about 7.30 before we start work at 8. And this man, anytime, it's okay, close it, close it. He spoke to me anyhow. So I spoke to my wife. And my wife said, have you prayed over this man? That I did three days fasting and prayer on the man. And by the third, they had a vision. In the vision, he was being given an envelope. And on it, they have written cow bank. A fat. So we went for the bank, to the bank. I was doing devotion. As usual, he got there. I wouldn't want to mention his name. Hey, hey, Pascal, close. I said, boss, the car bank issue. Then he stood. Yes, I got your attention. But how did you know? I said, I'm coming over to the office. So when we finished the devotion, I went straight into yours. I said, boss, the Lord is telling me that you need grace to pull that deal. Then he will pull his drawer, gave me the envelope. I have been giving this off one month ago, and I was told that I will receive a call that will tell me when to start. One month, it has not come. I said, boss, kneel down. I want to pray for you. <laughs> then, momentarily, he go. Look, your fire is going to elevate you. That grace will set you apart. Then I laid hands on him and I prayed. Then the spirit of the Lord ministered to me that in 14 days he will get the call. Guess what? The next Monday, he was the one taking me. I know this man. I'll give you, give you money. I know that one. Within two, three months, I had become the talk of the town. Papa, when I was exit B to become into ministry, my MD didn't want to sign it because I had brought in one million dollar contract from Saudi Gas. I was just driving through and the spirit of the Lord told me, stop, go to this place. It's a new place. They are now renovating the place. I just entered and I was, we just came back from Burkina to set it up. Can you get one million dollar? What I'm trying to say is that, you see, one of the things that can make you unique and strange and a weird creature, that when people say that, wait for me, we are going to vote her and come. But they can also say, you wait for me. I'm going to see Pastor Bwadi and when I come back, may that grace fall on you. The final thing fire does is that it promotes shine. A you be shine. John 5.35. Can we read? John 5.35. Can we all read together? One go. John was a lamp that burned and gave light. And you choose for a time to enjoy his light. Now my emphasis is on the first one. That the only way you can give light is when you burn. So John was burning. He was an insinuator, carrying. He was a fire messer, walking. And Bible says that as he burned and burned and burned and burned, he produced light. I tell you, anybody that constantly engaged in prayer, fasting, reading of the word, meditation, engagement with God, you carry an inner fire. And wherever you go, you shine. I pray that may you shine. Matthew chapter 5 verse 14 to 16 you are the light of the world a city that is set upon a hill can never be hidden sister you cannot be hidden you are not a village in a valley you are a city upon a hill verse 16 let your light so shine before all men that they may see your good works and glorify your father look you may walk into a place and sit somewhere and they'll just call you. Said, my name is Dockers. By the time you are done, everybody will know that you carry something. Because there is fire in you. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Promote sign. Be out of listen. As you go, set the place ablaze. Come for holy the prayers. We start at 6. We close at 8. 6.30, the whole place is full. Be out of listen. As you go, hey, may your altar burn. Look, may your music pierce hearts. May it penetrate through the heart of men. 
May grace abound. May God begin to promote shine. May CEOs, may engineers, may business moguls, may they come out of you. May the Lord raise mighty giants. May the Lord give you contact and contracts. May the Lord unleash you into the arena of world. If you believe, say, I believe. Shine. Shine. I'll set this analogy then I end. There are this analogy. Moses was running away from Pharaoh's house. He had seen all forms of magic. Pharaoh had two powerful Janice and Jambres. They were special, special people who are specialized in magic, magic, magic works. So Moses had seen many things. And for God to get the attention of this boy, God needed to give Moses something beyond magic. So the guy was running. All his life he had seen that fire burns. But he had never seen that there is a fire that does not burn but refines. So the Lord set the bush on fire. When you read Exodus, the Bible said that Moses said, wow, what is this? I will get closer and have a look. And the Bible said that when he got closer, the Lord called him Moses. Now God was prophetically speaking to Moses that all your life you know fire to consume. But a time is coming when I will set my church on fire. That fire will not burn. But it will radiate and bring beauty. Church, look, sister. It is the power of the Holy Ghost. The glory of God that surrounds you. Look, you walk into a place and literally they call you, Mama, praise the Lord. Soft Mommy, praise the Lord. Meanwhile, when we to recite the Bible's Genesis, you don't know. Uncle Bible school here. But the glory of God has graduated you from a lower region onto a higher region. I pray, I pray. May that glory rest on you. Fire promotes shine. Shine. May you shine. Oh, may you shine. Ayakatata, be on your feet. May you shine. May you shine. May you shine. May you shine. Baraka sutata. Adeke sekete. Belika prande. Lift your voice. Mayeko sekete. Libra sote leleberi akapata. Lebele kasata. Liande lebebosi yatanabaha. Bayete lebeka hosa. May you shine. Somebody against God. Don't look at anybody. In the next five minutes. Let go secretary. Yes, 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 yes,
Jesus. In the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. I declare. I declare that, that, that today, today my, season my season has opened. Has opened. Oh, we are doing it just for two minutes. That, that's all. Say in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Any door, any door, any door to my season. To my season. That is Lord. That is Lord. Today. Today. I declare. I declare. It is open. It is open. Say Jesus, Jesus, anything, anything that relegates me, that relegates me to the back, to the back. back. Today, 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 I declare, I declare, my season, my season has opened, has opened. Say Jesus, Jesus, I am unstoppable. I am unstoppable because because my season, my season, my season, my season has opened, has opened. For the last time, say Jesus, Jesus, I speak. I speak as a child of God. As a child of God. At this inaugural conference. At this inaugural conference. And I declare. And I declare that in you. That in you. In you. In you. And in your name. And in your name. Every season. Every season. That is mine. That is mine. I declare. I declare. It is open. It is open. May your fire. May your fire never die. May your altar continue to burn. Look, keys are being shared. People are opening doors. Some of you doors of contact and contracts. Scholarship doors, marriage doors. Those seasons are open. They are opening now. They are opening now. I see somebody's fire. It was placed under. But the hand is pulling that fire and bringing it up. Because it is your season. Receive that grace. Finally. Under the grace of our dear father, M.S. Apia, may the fire in this altar enter your soul. May it begin to burn. Look, your giftings are going to come to burn. You will operate in mighty weapons of the Holy Ghost. Come on, receive that grace. Let the altar burn. Let the altar burn. Let the altar burn. In the name of Jesus. Finally, your hand up, say in Jesus' name. Jesus name. I promote, I promote shine, shine in my life. In my life. Say in Jesus, name, in Jesus name. I shine. I, I radiate with, with the glory of God. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. I, declare, I declare. I am a son. I am a son. And a wonder. And a wonder. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. May the hand of the Lord be upon you. May His glory abide with you. And wherever you stand. May people know that you belong to this altar in Medina. God bless you. You can do it better.